one of the biggest decisions in Dragon Age the Veilguard is choosing whether to save Treviso or Minrathis. Either way, one of the cities is getting destroyed at the end of Chapter 6 in the game. But what are the pros and cons and outcomes of who you choose? First things first, any active side quests in the city that you're dooming, including companion quests for either Lucanus or Nave, are going to fail if you don't complete them before you destroy their city. So you want to get those done before Chapter 6. Make sure you have a backup save just in case. If you're destroying Treviso, make sure you've completed Lucanus's quests. I don't think you have to complete all of his quests, just any quest that is active already and any of the side quests that you can complete in the city. And if you want to destroy Minrathis, do all of Nave's quests as well. Again, just any that are active. Although I do recommend doing all of the companion quests for them if you have them available, as it will make romancing them a little bit easier, as I will go over in a minute. There are a few side quests in these locations as well that you can't complete, but they should tell you on them that they don't unlock until later in the story, so don't worry about those. Next, whoever you decide to go against will leave the lighthouse and no longer be a companion for a while in the game. So if you prefer to have one over the other, say you're trying to romance one of them, you may want to make your decision simply based on that. However, they do come back as a companion later in the story, but with some differences as the character that you destroy the city with will have some of their skills hardened. If you choose to destroy Treviso, Lucanus, or if you destroy Minrathis, then Nave, they will no longer be able to use some of their skills, specifically their healing skills on your party. If that's a skill you use a lot, then it may be worth considering. At the same time, hardening increases the strength of a handful of their skills. For Nave, it's her cold damage against barriers and their cooldowns. For Lucanus, it's his necrotic attacks against barriers. So there are some differences in their attacks. Hardening also means that building your relationship with this character, for example, when you're romancing them, will progress more slowly. Although it's not impossible. But as I mentioned before, you can do all the companion quests for those companions before destroying the city, which will make things easier. Next, this is a big one, and probably the one that you should make your decision on, and that is for going for the best ending if you want to save all the companions at the end of the game. That's because your contacts in either the Antivan Crows or the Shadow Dragons will take a hit if their city is destroyed, and you'll lose access to their special vendor. The best choice then is to pick and destroy Treviso. The reason being is you can still get level 3 with the Crows faction if you destroy the city. You will lose access to their vendor but you'll still get a reputation with the faction so long as before you destroy the city that you've leveled up the faction vendor at least once and sold him a couple of items to give yourself some extra faction points so you can reach a decent enough level with the faction before the vendor disappears. So level up the Treviso vendor first before destroying the city. However, if you were to do it the other way around, you can't get to level 3 with the other faction if you were to destroy Minrathis. You'll never be able to get a high enough level with the Shadow Dragons and you won't be able to unlock the good ending where everyone survives, unfortunately. So your only choice is to choose and destroy Treviso if you're looking to get the good ending. So I recommend destroying Treviso and that gives you the best outcome unless you really want all of Lucanus's healing skills available for him because you can still romance him, still get the good ending and the only thing that you'll really be missing out on is the faction vendor in Treviso but you can spend a little bit of time trying to level him up and unlocking some of his items before you destroy the city but the choice is up to you. So I hope this helps inform you on which one to choose, either Treviso or Minrathis to destroy. Like and subscribe for more guides and I'll see you next time.